guys, welcome back. I wanted to sit down real fast and share with you guys some of the books that I have been loving. Lately, I have been kind of stepping away from social media as far as using it as a crutch because we can all just use social media as a crutch sometimes, now can't we? And I have been trying to be more intentional about reading and getting back into it. And I'll tell you, once I started, I, I just forgot why I loved reading so much. Do you guys agree with me? I just miss it. And so I'm so happy that I've started reading again. So I have three books that I wanted to share with you guys that I have been digging into lately that I really have been loving. So the first book is by Rachel Hollis and it is Girl, Wash Your Face. When I heard the title of this book, it was kind of confusing to me. And then I saw the front of the book and she's sitting by a fire hydrant and it's turned on blowing in her face. And Rachel Hollis, if you know anything about her, she is a motivational speaker, she's an author, she's hilarious, she's funny, and she's got such a personality that she's so confident about. And that confidence just spills onto everybody that hears her. And so when I heard about her book, um, I was super excited to read it. The subtitle of the book is Stop Believing the Lies About Who You Are So You Can Become Who You Were Meant to Be. Each chapter of the book, basically, she goes over a lie that she's believed about herself, what it's done to her life that, like, by believing this lie, and what she did to combat that lie. And I thought it was really good because she said, writing these lies out is taking away power from them, calling them out for what they are, is stopping the power that they have over my life. One thing I really appreciate about the way that she wrote this book is that at the end of each of the chapters of each lie that she calls out, she says things that she did to help her work through. So it's not just like you're reading this book and you're like, all right, cool, I'm glad that you discovered all these lies, what do I do about it? She actually implements, like these are certain things that I did to help myself fight this to not fall back into this again. I also love the fact that she's very loving in it, but it's also kind of like a kick in the pants. <laughs> you know, like she's like your girlfriend who says, I love you and I need you to realize that you're doing something that is causing your life to be harder than what it needs to be. That's what this book is and I love it. The next book that I have been reading again is Desperate and I have talked about this book. I've given this book away on my Instagram many times. I've gifted this book to so many people and I just, mm, this book is just so, so good. Lydia Sen gifted me this book. She's also another woman here on YouTube, mom and budget guru and just, she's amazing. So I'll link her down below for you guys too if you guys don't already know her. If you don't know Lydia, then you've been living under a rock or something, but she is wonderful. Anyways, she gifted me this book when I was postpartum with Jude and it literally saved me. God used this book to specifically speak to my heart. Now, Desperate is a total faith-based Christian book. So if you are not a Christian um, and you are not open to any of that, then this book is probably not for you. But if you are um, a Christ following woman, I think that you will love this book. I just feel like, especially being postpartum this time around, I have found myself in a rut. And this book just speaks to all the levels of my heart. And I mean, it's like that friend that sits down with you and says, I love you. I know it's hard. I know that you're struggling, but I'm here for you, and here is the truth of God's word that I know you need to hear. So the last book that I wanna share with you guys is by Shauna Nyquist, and it is Present Over Perfect. And this book specifically, I have read through, I think like half of this book in the past, and then I stopped reading it, and life just got crazy. So I picked it back up, and I've been reading it again. But I have really been loving that book, because that book has really helped me as far as Stop trying to spin all the plates and give myself all this anxiety and cause myself to get so frustrated all the time and just be present with my family. Who gives a rip if my laundry's not done? If I need to connect with my kids or if I need to go out with my husband, like 
I'm gonna go return a couple bags of pop bottles so that I can get 20 bucks so that we can go catch a movie together. It's probably not catch a movie because movies are like way more expensive than that. But you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and, and not worry about all the extra stuff, you know? And especially in this day and age that we're living in. So yeah, those three books have been just game changers for me recently. Girl, Wash Your Face, Desperate, and present over perfect. So I will have those down below for you guys if you wanna go check them out. 